Everybody, thanks for tuning in. My name is Chase. Today's episode, we're taking a look at the segment overdrive from TDS FX. Now, my original one was broke, it was defective. Uh, so I sent it back to Park, Sean and Park. I told them right away, uh, and they took care of it. They got everything good. So it just goes to show that even a new startup company can have their issues, but uh, their customer service was great. Uh, I notified them, told them what the issue was. And it had, they had me mail it back to them. They took care of it. And I got it back in the same week, surprisingly enough. So that is very efficient. Um, anyways, so this is the segment overdrive. So I can get this thing to focus in here. Maybe not. Yep. And yep, there we go. So this is the segment overdrive. As you can see, we have a volume gain, a low, and a high. Uh, so the high knob and the low knob at noon... They're not boosting or cutting. This is the neutral position. So if you go clockwise, you're boosting the low or the high. And if you go counterclockwise, you are cutting uh, the signal. So I kind of am anxious to see how this is going to sound in front of a couple of different amps. And uh, I think the two I'm going to go with is going to be my Knucklehead Reverb and my Friedman Runt 50. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to get everything hooked up and then we'll throw in some uh, quick playthroughs and then we'll get into it. You guys, so what we're gonna do is um, we're gonna record into the Runt 50. We're gonna record into the uh, Knucklehead Reverb. We're gonna use my PRS S2 McCarty 594. Uh, the reason is it's got very low output pickups. Uh, they're 58, 15 LTs. They come in right around seven and a half, maybe 8K. That's pretty low. Uh, so I figured this would help showcase how strong this pedal is using low output pickups. We're also going into the Runt 50, like I said. Uh, the gain on that is gonna be at about 10 o'clock, just kind of that crunchy Marshall-esque sound. Uh, and then we'll use the, the Rivera uh, over here. Uh, and that is on about two, three o'clock on the gain. Um, so we'll go, you know, kind of there with it. Uh, yeah, that's gonna be kind of the overall settings and let's get into it, shall we?
So I think it sounds really good. Uh, let's go ahead and switch over to the knucklehead reverb. We're going to caveman tuning and let's give it a whirl and make sure everything's set back to noon. Here we go. Right, you guys there you have it that is going to be everything from the segment overdrive uh give me my thoughts and opinions and we'll we'll throw up another clip and roll out but uh this thing is really um this is really impressive uh see if i can get it to focus in there you go yeah this thing is incredible uh park and sean you guys have outdone yourself with this thing it's incredible this thing was done in collaboration with shay over at this heavy earth I don't know entirely all the full details. I know that Shay kind of helped with, uh, I think, the PCB layout and things of that nature. Uh, but the concept is Park and Sean's. Uh, this thing is awesome. It really is. I really enjoy this thing. And I know I didn't show it in this video because I'm going to do some more with it here in a little while. Uh, the one thing that really shows a good overdrive, especially a high gain overdrive in this case, 
is when you roll your volume knob down and it cleans up really, really nicely. Uh, like I said, I didn't show it in this video, but if you if you kind of understand where I'm going with it is uh, you can switch to a neck pickup with the volume rolled down and it just cleans up so well. This way you can still hit the front of the amp really hard, but I'm really impressed with this pedal. So uh, I think at the time of filming, there was five pedals or less left, which is incredible for their first batch. Um, and I think Park is already in the middle. Him and Sean are already in the middle of making some more. I'm not totally sure. Anyways, thanks for watching. Tell me in the comments below what you guys thought overall. We'll see you on the next one.